Welcome back. Interior designer Brett Lemcool describes his design aesthetic in three words. Theatrical, dramatic, and ethereal. He's known for his use of rich, vibrant colors and mixed textures with layers of Hollywood glam. You can see all these elements in his live workspace in Queens. Take a look. Hi, welcome to my home. I'm Brett Lemkul, an interior decorator. I'm located in Sunnyside, Queens, New York. Come on in and I'll show you what I've done. I'm a professional decorator, and I have to tell you, I love my job. But when I did my own space, I let my passion run wild. The fantasy begins when you step into the foyer, and your eye is immediately drawn to this chandelier. And another thing I'm known for is my playful use of scale. Good examples of that are this oversized mirror and artwork. In this foyer, I didn't use wallpaper. I used faux painting, malachite. And let's face facts, every space needs a great bar. So let's mix a drink and head to the living room. Now that we've got a drink, first and foremost, a space has got to be comfortable. But being comfortable doesn't mean you can't be stylish as well. A good example of that is the sofa I used to anchor the room. With the statement this sofa makes, I needed a strong counterpoint, which I found in this pair of Baker chairs. And these chairs are beyond comfortable, made even more so by these fabulous Fortuny pillows. And once you've settled in, you can sit back and take in all the details. Chinoiserie takes center stage in this room. And here I have Edo brush paintings, Foo Dogs, and a collection of hardstone trees. And can you believe I made this mirror myself? But don't think I'm too crafty. People often ask me what my influence and inspiration was for this apartment. And I have to tell you, it was the late, great Tony Duquette. Let me take you into the bedroom and show you exactly what I mean. In here, you see Tony Duquette's influence everywhere. The use of manzanita branches to emulate coral, deer antlers, anything of an organic nature. The leopard draping and Tony's signature malachite printed fabric reinforce his look in this space. Some people have called this my shrine to Tony Duquette. I call it my bedroom. A passion project cannot be limited by your amount of square footage. It can only be limited by your imagination. I'm so glad you could join me today.